Hi, hi, it's the Tiny One Slash Bishi, and let's play some more Final Fantasy XIV with Tiny Bishi. So, once again, there's a new event going on, and um, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and uh, play the event for you to watch. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, that's... So, apparently, I haven't done the... Oh, I still can. Okay, I was about to say, I haven't done the Gold Saucer event event, so I didn't know if it'll let me do it or not. So let's see if it's gonna let it, it should let me do it. I don't know. Let's see how far I can get. A prickly plaint. Alier is in dire need of an adventurer's assistant. Pardon me, my good sir. My name is Alier and I'm employed as an attendant at the Manderville Gold Saucer. Could I perhaps trouble you for a moment of your time? Truth be told, we are in desperate need of a capable adventurer to assist us in a task of the utmost import. Might you perchance be willing to offer your aid? Sure. He has a car! That's cute. As you may have realized, we are currently in the midst of a Make It Rain camp of the Make It Rain campaign, a yearly festival during which we hold a number of exclusive limited time events. Though you may be surprised to hear, there are still those who have yet to experience all the wonders of the saucer has to offer. Thus have we, the staff of the saucer, decided to take our show into town and spread the word. <clears throat> However, there has been one troubling development. Ever since we began this little campaign, one of my colleagues has been visibly out of sorts. Normally he is the most cheerful of all of us, so let it suffice to say that we are deeply concerned. My colleagues and I have tried to look into the matter ourselves, but I fear the man is too proud for his own good and refuses to admit anything is the matter. And so, I thought, perhaps an experienced adventurer like yourself might succeed where we have failed. So what do you say? Sure. Thank you, good sir. Your generous offer is most appreciated. The man in question is currently on assignment in Limpso Lominsa, where I just left. I'll be heading there myself shortly after this. Let's rendezvous at, by the after castle as soon as you are able. Okay. Oh, but I got ahead of myself. Okay, so that's how you do that. Okay. If you have yet to visit the Golden Saucer, you'll be needing a ticket for admission. In that case, I recommend you try speaking with that young man over there. He's been glowing endlessly of his winnings and seems to be in the mood to share his good fortune. Okay, so that's cool. Oh my god. Okay. In order to continue this quest, you must find... You must first complete the quest, It Could Happen to You, which can be undertaken at level 15. Alright. Look at that.
just didn't appear when I arrived. There he is. Oh my god. <laughs> Roll the wonders. The attendant at the airship landing seems eager to welcome you to the gold saucer. I, I skip steps. Welcome honored guests to the Mandrill Gold Saucer, where your wildest dreams are ever but a card or a chocobo's beak away from coming true. If this is your first visit, nothing will please us more than to give you a full tour of our establishment that you might enjoy its wonders to the fullest. All at the conclusion of the tour is it is our custom to offer our esteemed patrons a complimentary gift straight from the vaults of our illustrious proprietor himself. Consider it Lord Mandeville's way of personally thanking you for your patronage. Should you wish to take the tour, pray proceed to the main counter over there and speak with the receptionist. On behalf of the management, may I take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the gold saucer. Rest assured, my colleagues and I will spare no effort in seeing that your visit is a pleasant and profitable one. May fortune smile upon you. Whoops. Welcome, traveler, to the Gold Saucer. This is the main counter where you can purchase tickets for the mini cockpot acquire, or for the mini cockpot acquire and redeem Mandible Gold Saucer points and much, much more. But what in the world are Mandible Gold Saucer points? I hear you cry. A most astute question, and one which I shall only be too happy to answer. But first, if I may direct your gaze to your left. Beyond those majestic gates, you will find Chocobo Square home to the Chocobo Racing Circuit. Aye, what Chocobo owner has not dreamed of pitting the fleetest bird against the realm's finest in a pulse quickening dash of fame and fortune? Truly, it is the sport of sultans. And should you desire a more elaborate contest strategy, you will surely find it in Minion Square at the Lord Verminion's Tables where would-be generals pit armies of minions against one another in battles for honor and glory. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, Mandible Gold Saucer Points. Put simply, MGP, as we call it for short, is a currency by which dreams are bought and sold within these halls. But my associate here beside me can tell you more, including how to go about acquiring some MGP of your own. Pray speak to him to continue your tour. So you're about to experience the wonders of the gold saucer for the first time. How I envy you. Uh, but before you venture forth, you'll want to exchange a share of your guild for MGP, a service which it is my great honor to provide. With MGP in your coin purse, you'll be able to enjoy all the fabulous attractions we have to offer, and all the wondrous games. If, if you play them with skill, you'll find a little, your little stack of points increasing 10, 20, even 100 points. Now that you know the fundamentals, you're ready to step onto the floor of the Gold Saucer. Your tour will continue at Card Square to the southwest. The card trader there will be your guide. I would, of course, be happy to exchange some of your gill for MGP before you venture on. While my associates and I strive to leave nothing unexplained, there truly is no substitute for first-hand experience, and I heartily recommend trying your hand at our many amusements for yourself. you a handsome one. Welcome to Card Square, home of the Triple Triad Tables. What's Triple Triad, you ask? Why, only the mind-bending, pulse-pounding, manly, Moorish card game that's taken the realm by storm. But don't take my word for it. Behold. Can you not feel the tension in the air? Form a hand of five cards and play the role of a field general and your bravest into battle. Should you wish to learn the rules and experience the excitement for yourself, you need only ask. Start today and we'll even throw in some complimentary cards to help you on. 
on your way. Oops. You can face off against a single opponent at any time, or if you crave an even greater test of your skills, take part in one of our regular tourneys. And believe me when I tell you, there's no feeling quite like standing triumphant on the battlefield after vanquishing all comers. You really should try it. I meant to learn a lifetime to master. That's triple triad. Ah, but I'm getting carried away. You have a turn to finish. Wonder Square is your next destination. Not that there's any hurry, of course. But if you would like to play a hand or two before you go, you need but say the word. Okay, I can do uh, Wonder Square here. Nope, one just go west. So, as much as I love the Golden Saucer, I, um, there are some games that I feel promote gambling, so I won't be um, playing them for you at a Let's Play or on stream. That's just my personal thing. But I can show you, like, the rest of stuff, like, uh, there's one where you fly in a plane and you shoot targets. Uh, the one that I last tried to go on, that sort of stuff. Boss, honey, why don't I show you around? I've been dying for some company, wink wink. Feast your eyes on Wonder Square. From gripping games and awe inspiring attractions to the finest and fine dining and the freshest of refreshments, there's no end to the wonders house within these halls. And let's not forget the most wondrous of them all El Coloso, as we lovingly call our mammoth cactor mascot is the star of some of our most popular events. Suffice to say, you won't want to miss them. Now I know what you're thinking. With everything going on at the Gold Saucer, how can I ever hope to keep up? But you needn't worry. My fellow gatekeepers and I will always be at hand to see that you don't miss a thing. For the continuation of your tour, I've been instructed to direct you into the weighing arms of my colleague, the Belida at the Cackpot Board. She's one of our most popular girls, and once you meet her, I'm sure you'll understand why. Well, ta-ta for now. Okay. Now I have to go back up and go to Cackpot. Oh, I thought his tag was mom at first. There she is. Greetings, handsome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Velida, and I'd like to personally welcome you to Event Square. The most spacious of all the areas in gold, of the Gold Saucer, Event Square is a veritable cornucopia of pleasure and delight. Doubtless, this sizable stage in the middle of the square has caught your eye. That's the scene of some of our most sensational attractions, so don't be shy about taking center stage. And after the curtain has spawned, why not try changing your life forever? At the Jumbo Cackpot, all you need is a handful of MTP and a head full of dreams. Just choose four numbers and cast your hopes to the heavens. You never know just when Naimia will smile down upon you. Now, as much as I enjoy getting to know you, I'm afraid it's time for us to part. The next and final leg of your tour takes you to Round Square. Don't think too hard about the name, darling. Even I'm not sure it's supposed to make sense. 
Oakley, Oakley, oh my god. She hasn't phased in yet, I don't think. There she is. Are you the first time visitor I was told to expect? A thousand welcomes to the gold saucer, and a thousand welcomes to round square. How can a square be round, you ask? I'm not sure I understand the question. Moving on to more important matters. Is that lofty peak not a sight to behold? That's Mount Corel, the main attraction here at Round Square. One of our most thrilling events pits our customers against each other and a challenge to see who can most swiftly scale its heights. I tell you, the view from the summit is a sight to behold. And that concludes your tour of the Gold Saucer. While I'm sure you're eager to start and join yourself, pray do not forget to return to the main counter and claim your complimentary gift. I like how she does a little curtsy. That's cute. All right. Welcome back, honored guests. I trust that you've come away from your, the tour with a greater appreciation of all the gold Saucer has to offer. As a token of our appreciation for your patrons, it's my great pleasure to offer you a complimentary gift from the personal vaults of our esteemed proprietor. Well, knock me down with the Chocobo's tail feather. Is that new customer I see? Ha ha. I could hardly have picked a better time to drop in for an impromptu inspection. Master Roland, yes, this gentleman here has, but this moment, completed his introductory tour. Is that so? Well then, allow me to personally welcome you to the Gold Saucer. I am Roland, good, good sir, the fellow entrusted with overseeing the daily affairs of this fine establishment on behalf of our esteemed proprietor, a great man if there ever was one. You are an adventurer, yes? Aye, your dress and bearing told me as much. I dare say then that on your travels you have seen firsthand the difficulties which yet plague our nation. Witness the struggles of Alamigo's displ displaced masses and those whose homes were consumed in the fires of the calamity. The Sultanate is not unsympathetic to their plight, of course, yet how can one begin to provide succor to such countless multitudes? One man had an answer. Godbert Manderville had a dream, a dream of a house of untold wonders that would provide stable employment and lodgings to the displaced, mirth and merriment to the disconsolate, and prosperity and plenty to the Sultanate at large. To many of our patrons, the Gold Saucer is merely Eorza's foremost entertainment venue, a place to forget about their cares for the day. To me, it is one of the founding stones upon which our realm will be rebuilt. A miracle wrought by the hand of the greatest man I have ever known. Something tells me you understand that which I have told you, that you, perchance, share a similar dream. But I shall keep you no longer. The Gold Saucer and all its wonders await you, friend. Pray enjoy them to your heart's content. Till we meet again, may the spinner's pool be ever kind. Mm -hmm. 
All right. I have finished. Now I have to go to Limsa. Ah, oh, Limsa is expensive from here. Can I go back out the way I came and get the ship? Let's see. I don't want the Emperor's house. Is a bit of a detour. Sorry about that. Hi. <clears throat> Sorry, parents are just uh, staring at me like what? Um, Johnny Winch. Okay. Um, this way? Yes, this way. There he is. I don't want the little brick man. Ought to be the little brick man again. Ah, there you are. Majestic, isn't it? Of all the displays we painstakingly erected, this one may be one of the best sh may be one that best showcases the saucer's myriad refined delights. As for the fellow I mentioned, ah, that's him right over there. They're so unimpressed. It keeps spinning in circles. Do you think it's quite alright? All I know is it's making me dizzy just looking at it. Hey you, can you do something else? you've angered it. Or perhaps that was some manner of impromptu dance performance? In any case, I can't say that I'm terribly keen on what the, to see what it does next. Not when we have a table waiting for us at the Bismarck. So long, Spiny, whatever you are. <laughs> She's like, yeah, bye. The bystanders have departed. Senior Sabotender slumps his shoulders in visible dismay. He's been like this ever since we got here. What say you? Will you speak with Senior Sabotender for me and see if you can ascertain what ails him? Yes. <laughs> I got the low airship. All right. This is what he was talking about. So. I think I did give me a spin wheel you for Azuna. I forgot what I did. Uh, are you feeling all right? It's 
Senior Sabertender strikes a pose but speaks no words. It's unclear if your message reached him. Senior Sabertender rushed off to the west. Perhaps he wishes to speak with you in a more secluded location. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be yawning. Holy crap. Wait, where am I going? Oops, that's not what I want. That's not what I wanted. Fine. My apologies for dragging you all the way over here. You look so sad. So for Tiny Bishi, I'm going to do Um, Who Are You? And Silent is going to do Senior Sabotender Isn't a Real Sabotender. Oh, but of course, the name is Nana Fawn. I play the role of Senior Sabotender, the Gold Saucer's beloved mascot. At least I thought he was beloved. You saw that just now, didn't you? I did my damnedest to convey the sheer splendor of the Gold Saucer with my usual grandiose gestures, but my audience was clearly unimpressed. Alas, my gyrations and undulations are merely perplexing poses without the spectacles of the saucer itself. Would that I could explain my own words, all that in my own words, all that they are missing out on. Why don't I then? Is it not obvious? Because we don't want to reveal the future patrons that senior sabotender isn't a real sabotender. Not until we secure their patronage at the very least. While stunning my costume, I have forbidden from uttering even a single word. Such is my plight, you see. At this rate, I'll be forced to depart this place at having succeeded at nothing but causing quizzical looks and utter confusion. I simply want to join my colleagues in spreading the word of the saucer splendors across the realm. Um, and then I'm going to do, I can explain it for you. And silence gonna do, and that's where I come in somehow. So I'm trying to take a drink of water. What's this? You'll be willing to assist us in our cause. What a kind of generous soul you have, my adventuring friend. Why, you're sure magnanimity brings a tear to my eye. More than a few tears, even. But what am I doing here crying? I must prepare to welcome you to our low troop. Pray, let me know whenever you are ready. Ready for your first task? Excellent. Before that, however, allow me to give you an overview of our promotional campaign. We began with a survey asking for people's impressions of the Gold Saucer. 
Reviewing the responses, we noted that the vast majority of patrons cited the attractions as one of the venue's main selling points. While it's true that our attractions are a highlight, there is, as you are well aware, excuse me, so much more to the saucer. So we got to thinking about how best to go about informing the world of our lesser known delights. I came up with four main features of the saucer that I hope to promote to people. What shall I explain first? The lore of the cackpot. Ah, indeed. Whether it's the mini cackpot, which casual players can enjoy as many as three times a day, or the lucrative jumbo cackpot, available once per week, both offer Gold Saucer patrons a chance to test their luck and reap lavish pi prizes. Easy to enter and with incredible fortunes for the taking, the mini and jumbo cackpots are among the most popular ways to rank up MGP, which can then be exchanged for a host of alluring prizes. Dream big and enter the cackpot today, only at the Mandeville Gold Saucer. How easy it is to get there. Tell me about it. Though the saucer may seem far away to many, being located at the edge of the Sigoli Desert, did you know that the airship passage is available entirely free of charge from all of Eorzea's major cities? And though the wonders that await, that await you in the saucer's halls are the main attraction, I'll have you know that the journey via airship is a singular delight in its own right. So why not invite your special someone to soar through the skies on the way to the realm's premier leisure destination? The Mandeville Gold Saucer, only a coin's toss away. The Saucer's Best Kept Secret. The ho! Clearly I stand before a man of discerning taste. While the Saucer offers no end of games and attractions, we find patrons such as yourself are known to enjoy slipping away to our full service bar for a refreshing libation or two. That's right, we've assembled the realm's best barkeeps to provide a plethora of potables sure to wet your whistle and put you in the mood to marvel at the saucer's many wonders. Do be sure to stop by. The lavish costumes of the staff. Oh, that's a pretty kitty. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look how cute. Sorry. Uh, a keen eye for fashion, I see. Then you're sure to appreciate the unique costumes and couture worn by our staff. A wardrobe pre prepared by the Sultanate, its most esteemed tailors, to meet the demanding aesthetic sensibilities of our owner, the incomparable Godbert Manderville. Be sure to bring something to cover your eyes. The sheer gorgeousness of these ornate outfits is likely to blind you if you do not. Yes, that's right. The Mandeville Gold Saucer is a veritable gal gallery of the most glamorous garb our civilization has ever seen. Well, how's that sound? I dare say I've done a remarkable job of distilling the essence of the saucer's appeal into concise verbiage. Simply remember all that verbatim, and you'll be ready to help us spread the word of the saucer wherever you go. And with that, I do believe it's time for us to get the show on the road. Allow me to see through my preparations, and we can convene at the after castle when we both are ready. Good? Good. <laughs> okay. This way. Oop. I got caught a little bit because I'm so small. There he is, back in costume. 
You can feel Nanapan's intense gaze upon you from within the senior sabotender's costume. You are filled with determination to share the wonders of the gold saucer with the residents of Limsa Lamensa along with your succulent companion. Okay. So, first up... We're gonna go here. But I'm keeping that one. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the L's you want, Drylander. State your business quick and you best hope it's worth me while. The gold bloody saucer? Why would any pirate in her right mind set foot in that twinkling hellhole? It's time to put what you learn to use and spread the word about the wonders of the saucer. Succeed in drawing the interest of the influential Lamentins, and Nanaphon will surely be hardened. Um, I'm going to say, because I know the I know the correct answers to all of these. There's only like one correct answer per person, and we have to see four different people. So this is the correct answer for her. It's the perfect place to bring that special someone. Special someone? And just who the L's would that be? So a certain pirate captain might appreciate the gesture is the wrong answer. I picked that one before and oh my god, it was so wrong. So the correct answer is perhaps your crew could use a respite. A respite. By the way, I love the cat the, the cat girl to my right, her left. She's so pretty. Does she have glasses? Ah, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Sorry. Me crew? That's your big idea? Then again, me girls would have retired from active duty could always use a break from tendon to their little ones. I'll wager an excursion would do them what well. do M well. Alright, got her. Okay. Next is Let's go rub on. Over here. I got turned around. Uh, next one is a culinarian skill, I think. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. At first I'm like, wait a minute. No, no, that's it. I'm so small, I'm like, there's stairs? Yes, yeah, so there's stairs. What have we got here? 
you're a fair share pricklier than the folks what usually show up here at the Bismarck. So the correct answer is, this is the brown reno renowned mascot of the Mandeville Gold Saucer. The what now? I, you're from that eyesore in the desert. Never been there myself. Afraid I'm much too busy for them silly games. New dishes don't think themselves up. It's time to push what you learn to use and spread the word about the wonders of the gold saucer. Succeed in drawing the interest of the influential Lamincins, and Nanafon will surely be hardened. Okay. So the right answer for him is... You could partake in libations to delight even the most discerning epi epicure. You don't say, hmm, the inspiration could do with some refreshing. Aye, I'll pay the saucer ears a visit. Just as soon as I know my apprentices, the apprentices won't burn this place down the meanwhile. Wow, such little faith in them. All right. Next is... Uh... Yeah, Hawker's Alley and then... Um... Fisherman's Guild. All right. Kill Kill Rune welcomes welcome customer. Customer be welcome. Not customer? Not come with custom? Sparklies? Kill Kill Rune loves sparklies. Kill Kill Rune can find sparklies at this gold saucer. You can hit the cackpot and become a gazillionaire, or, or jillionaire is what the correct response is. Sparklies! Lots of sparklies! Joker Room loves sparklies more than customer. Joker Room go to Gold Saucer straight away. Come back with many sparklies. He is shaking. He's like a, like a chihuahua. I never noticed that. Okay, one last stop. Okay, we're going to go this way.
won't. Choby Chob, ye gods. You're no Choby. Nay, from crayfish to crayfish, Gobby to Gujian. I've seen my share of sea creatures, but there's not a puffer in these parts that's so pointy as you. So the correct answer is, if it's spectacular spines you seek, none are senior to senior sabotender. You're one suave sabotender, certainly. So much so, I suspect you sailed in from the gold saucer. And I'm sorry to say that salt of the sea types like yours truly aren't suited for sordid gill seeking. Or, yeah, simpler pleasures are my preference. Okay. Excuse me, wow. So, the correct answer for him is, but don't you want to feast your eyes on the realm's most gorgeous garb? What's this you say? Can I assume that this gorgeous garb adorns the figures of lasses both buxom and bonny? Sheesh. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? I'll net the next airship to the saucer of yours. Still, we should keep this between me, you, me, and the sabotender. Let Sisipu assume I'm off in an extended angling excursion. It's gonna make Sisipu mad. You've done your best to spread the word of the gold saucer among the residents of Limsa. All that is left is to reconvene by the, with the staff by the after castle and hopes that your efforts bear fruit. Okay. It's a golden beaver. That's funny. Bye, golden beaver. And it was still 97 degrees when I last checked. So it's still very warm. And also I have my air conditioning to energy saver. So once it gets to a certain, like whatever I have it set at, once it gets to that temperature in the house or apartment, I should say, it's supposed to shut off until it needs to get it back to that temperature again. And it hasn't yet, so... Okay. Oh. Yeah, I turned around for a second. I'm like, where am I? You cannot help but feel that the crowd is sparser than it was just before. Senior Sabotender, there you are. I have urgent orders from our superiors. All staff are to conclude their missions and make preparation to return to the saucer post haste. You can feel Sen Senor Sabotender's piercing gaze upon you. It would seem that he strongly wishes you to return to the saucer with him. I'll take it you'll be coming back as well. If so, pray come to Lenny as soon as you're avail available. Okay. Let's 
Go rub on. Travel to the gold saucer, yes. So where can a man get himself one of those drinks that they're saying are the taco of the realm? Ah, clearly you're an individual discerning taste. Right this way, my good sir. As you can see, business is booming. I'm pleased to say that we've even welcomed quite a few new guests from Lumsa Lomensa. Clearly, the efforts of my colleagues have paid off in more ways than one, and they could not have done it without you. Master Roland will doubtless be thrilled. Would that we could continue our promotion events afield for a while longer, but I fear that we need every able-bodied attendant here at home to deal with the ever... Ber I'm going to say ever-growing crowds, because that's the same thing. That's your cue, senior sabotender. Let's give our guests a warm welcome. Gold saucer style. In any event, I thank you. Not only have you helped us expand our clientele, but as you can see with your own eyes, senior sabotender is back to his typical energetic self. As his colleague and his friend, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. I can, however, offer you the small token of our thanks. Till our paths cross again, may fortune smile upon you at the saucer. Okay, so, senior advisor, that's cute. All right, so what I got, so the email to show right and show left, basically when I was showing off a uh, senior sub attender, you know, like, if you ever seen the meme of Will Smith just showing off his wife on the red carpet? That's basically what it is with sparkles. Uh, now, just to let everybody know, since Tiny Bushi has not been at the saucer before, I'm currently trying to get... I don't know if I will get it or not. But I'm currently trying to get... The Senora Sabatender minion. 
or Senorita Sabertan, along with the Gold Saucer Attendant card, the Roland card, and the G Lee card, which is going to cost me quite a bit to get. I don't know if I'll be able to get it this time around, but I'm going to try. But I'm going to do that not recording. I'm going to do it. Go ahead and play as much as I can before the summit ends. And then um, once I get those items, or as close as possible before the event ends, I will... You'll see that in the next clip. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. That's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Alright, this is the little clip on the end I want to show you before I officially end the video. So here I am purchasing Senorita Sabatender. The Gold Saucer Attendant card. The Roland card. And the GG card. Okay. So first, Senorita Sabatender is right here. And uh, here is a gold saucer attendant, Roland, and GG. So the gold saucer attendant says, you're the boss, honey, why don't I show you around? Roland says, something tells me you understand that which I have told you, that you perchance share a similar dream. And Gigi goes, but how can I ever be accepted as your son if I remain a memet? Alright, and that's going to officially end this video. Thank you so, so much for watching.